question now is, where do we go next? So we do have the CNL communicate and link. So Digger said it would proceed with the plan to verify its existence. It has requested for help in retrieving the network access code. The data are spread throughout Zion, the wasteland, and the Great Desert. That's going to be like a long-term sort of thing. We're not going to be doing that right now. So I guess we'll do the next quest. This one right here next to us? Maybe up there? Actually, there was a guy up there. Not all that long ago. That fella who was acting real sus and was like, I can't help you right now. So maybe it's him. Oh, or maybe it's whatever this is. This thing right here. What actually is this? No, that's just like an access code that we don't have. Oh, actually, it's probably that individual there with the, the shark head. Why are they- are, are they cold? Are they cowering? Do they need a jacket? Are they sick? What's happening? My treasure. You're June, calm treasure. down. Go away. I won't give it to you. I have to protect it. What is this treasure you're talking about? I won't take it from you. Just tell me what it is. Treasure. My treasure. Our treasure. Mother Sphere's treasure. You're gonna need to find a better Sorry. place to hide it. You've been holding on to these memory sticks for yourself, thinking they're treasure. My treasure. I left some treasure behind. I should have protected it, but I ran. Treasure. It's because of the Natibas. Natiba. You ran from where? Are there more memory sticks? You're helping me? Treasure. Bring me the treasure. The Great Desert. The ruins in the sandstorm. I lost my treasure. Our treasure. Okay, okay. I'll help you. Don't worry. Okay, so we just gotta go to... I mean, we never... Wait, did she say Great Desert? We, I don't even know if we have Great Desert unlocked as a place we can go. Which mission is this? Go to the location of the Great Desert. Well, that one's not gonna be what we do next. Oh! I just opened the menu and discovered that we can actually change our hair from inside the menu, but I assume... we. Oh! No, we can actually unlock the hairstyle. I was gonna say, maybe they'll make us go into town to do this but no we can just do it from our menu i guess what was the other hairstyle i said i liked this one can i actually just purchase it right now well that's convenient because i was going to say if i change my outfit i don't want to have to go all the way back to town so i should be able to swap into really anything here like if i wanted to do this one and then go back down here and swap out our hair For like a hair that more sort of matches the outfit, I can do that on the fly. I could swap out the glasses, I could swap out the earrings. Yes! We could completely remake ourselves right from. <laughs> Amazing! It's like a whole different character now. It's still Eve. It's obviously still Eve. But what an outfit as well. I do think that it kind of looks funny to have this hairstyle with the ponytail. Why why insist on making us have the ponytail? It's not like we can turn the ponytail off. We can make it shorter. We can't get rid of it. And that's just, I'm not sure how this hairstyle works with also having a ponytail. Okay, the controller keeps dying on me. Maybe that's what happens after 40 hours of gameplay. I don't know how long I've been recording. Maybe someone from my Patreon could help me. Like today's executive producer, Lucky Lou Dog. Can y'all calculate, tabulate how long I've been playing this game? No? That's fine. Thank you for your support. Thank you to all my patrons. Patreon.howdyfolks.net if you'd like to join them. Okay, controller's charging. Executive producer shout out out of the way. Can't stop looking at her right now. We've really done something here. What what were, what were we doing? What, what were we talking about doing? I think we're gonna go do one of these other quests. Maybe we'll go see what that one is down that alleyway there. We'll go see what that has to do. Oh, wait a minute! Hold on, we were told to check these! Just like a second ago, the truth, the Raphael report, secret internal Eidos company documents obtained by this paper and published for the first time, the plan to control the media, the Raphael report, led by CEO Raphael Marx. Are the journalists who kept quiet about the Eidos company on the list? Did they yield to the threats? Administrations from several different countries were involved, revealed through testimony by several eyewitnesses. Pano, pan, panopticon to dominate the world economy after the new Cold War, the time of corporate li uh, li 
liberalism is upon us. An exclusive report from our reporter, Quinn, only in the truth. Sketchy stuff going on. Sketchy stuff. I feel like we need to find more articles. Not that that's going to be like a focus of what we're doing here today. This outfit truly is unhinged. Uh, but not what we're going to be focusing on here today. It's just we need to be remembering to look out for them. So I think our next quest is going to be with this guy having a rough go of things back here. Is he missing an arm? No, he's just holding himself. He must be having like a bad stomach ache. Maybe he ate something that didn't quite agree with his internal systems. Maybe he needs us to go get him some of that that pink stuff. We won't mention the brand name, but you know, when you have nausea, heartburn, indigestion, upset stomach, diarrhea. Really want to figure out what these are all about. I, I feel like they've got to be something. Hey, buddy, Angel. what's up? He didn't even have the a name. Took my sister. Please save my younger sister. Where are the looters now? There! Down the alley! Ugh. Is this a trap? Wait, right here! Is this a... <laughs> I mean, there's there's a trap, for sure. <laughs> They're trying, trying to bait me into something here. There's looters down the alley who took his sister. Are we being... Are we, are we being tricked into going in here and getting jumped by them? Or is he trying to convince us to go beat up his rivals for him? Or is his sister in, like, a secret relationship and he's not willing to accept that's what's happening here? Definitely a trap then, and we fell for it. I feel like we've had a lot of Natiba jumping around behind us to try and attack us secretly. We, we should have been weary of such a thing happening here. Why were we not on our best game? Wow, what a tragic end to her story. I really thought she was going to go the mile, like the full... I don't know what that means. Aren't we humans just like you? Well, why should we have to dig through garbage, cower, and hide from the Ativos just to survive? Why? Because, um, I haven't figured that out yet. I'm still trying. We have theories. No. How could you not? All of you are actual angels. There are many treasures, but none more precious than the materials inside your body. And with a body as state of the art as yours, need I say more? I've so we kind of called this being an ambush. It'll be nice to hear a thank you for a change. <laughs> Who's coming to our rescue here? We're not gonna know. Eve, are you all right? Adam, Focus Buckaroo. Can you do that? Adam. These are black market merchants. I didn't think they'd approach airborne squad members. <sighs> this can't be. I've never seen this before. It looks like Natibas weren't all humans had to worry about. <sighs> so they're dead. They killed them. Let's get are we sure they didn't just find their bodies lying around? We found we found a ton of those so far. We just absorb their souls and carry them with us into a new tomorrow. <laughs> oh no, I hope being here doesn't trigger the next story beat. Because this is where it's supposed to come for the next story beat. Eve, you're here. Look over here. What's this? <laughs> I think that's exactly what's this happened. Here is an alpha signal meter. This device uses the subtle resonance from the alpha core to pinpoint its location. It can't reach a super long distance, but you'll find it useful once you head over to the location Orkel told you about. Wow, good work. <laughs> You're gonna put me out of a job. I thought you were already out of a job. <laughs> you little brat. 
Yeah, what does Adam do for a living? Scavenger, Thank I guess, you but... For helping me out all the time, Lily. And just one more. Can you turn around for me? Here. Done. What have you done, Lily? I customized the power distribution of the body cell. Doesn't your body feel lighter? Can we double jump? Something does feel different. I never noticed that jumping, the bottom half of that dress is see-through. <laughs> so it's a good thing we ended up over here. Um, track the looters complete. Quest, that was it, that was it for the quests. That, that was, the whole quest was just to get tricked by looters. And then we did accidentally trigger the next bit of the story, which unlocked a double jump. I, I'm assuming that's unrelatable, unrelated. Yeah, look at that, we can double jump now. Not that we can do much with it, admittedly. Yet. I mean, I'm assuming when we get to the Great Desert, that's when double jumping's really gonna come into its own. Can I jump, do that, and then double? No, it's gotta be a double jump and then a swish. Well, what do I need to talk to her for? We better take the alpha signal meter over to the tetrapod before heading out to Matrix 11. Sure, I, that checks out, but well, maybe we can do something at the repair right? console? Oh, you know what? We do have quite a few new drone pieces, don't we? We have four drone upgrade modules. What do we want to go with? See, I kind of want to go down this route and get the scanner upgrade, uh, which upgrades the drone scanner, cooldown scan decreases by 30%. And then finally attach a can detector to the drone. It makes a sound when it detects nearby cans. Those seem like useful things to have for the sake of completion. So we're going to do that. And then as for suits, we really just don't have enough right now to build any of these. Even if we really, really wanted to build even just like one of these. But you know what? We'll get some materials. I, I wouldn't mind running around in this fit for a little bit longer. Uh, let's see what we've got on the map next. Keep doing the wrong thing. Tell you what. This is on the way back to town, so I guess we'll see what that one is. A lot of these are just not really quests. A lot of these are, you know, get jumped in an alley and get a bit of lore, and then accidentally get dumped into the story and get double jumped. So, I mean, we're not upset by it at all. It's... <laughs> that, that, that jump there is, um... Boy, howdy. Okay, let's chat. You must be the angel. What, what gave it away? But can you spare a moment? Depends. Do you want me to go down a dark alley by myself? I normally wouldn't get a stranger involved in Sentinel's business, but I'm worried about my comrades and I can't afford to send a search party. I understand. What happened? As you know, Natibas are unpredictable creatures. Finding a new variant is not even a big deal, as long as we can handle it. This particular new variant recently appeared in the Wasteland. Ah. So we've been keeping an eye on it. Okay. But one of my scout teams has not returned to Zion yet. They're probably a dead. New variant, you say? Yes. A formidable monster. Its entire neck and shoulders had evolved into a weapon. I'll send you the coordinates. There's an abandoned oil storage facility in a remote corner of the Wasteland. The scout team was guarding the area. I'm doing this thing with the camera, by the way. I'm trying to make something a little bit more dynamic. Yes. Thank you. Add a little bit more intrigue than just a static image. Hold to view the options. Go ahead and track the urgent information. And we're going to head out to the wasteland. Oh, right now I've got to use a phone. I keep doing it. I keep... It's just, It's so different. You know, most games these days are just like, Oh, you want to fast travel anywhere anytime? Go for it, buckaroo. Not in this game. So our remote corner of the wilderness is up here, and we could use the phone right here to fast travel there, but I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna run, and there was an object on the ground? What was that? Everyone else saw that, right? It definitely said, like, object? Oh, I must have been imagining it. Or I picked it up. I actually don't know. I have no clue. My gosh, but we have a lot of upgrades that we can do right now. I mean, there's probably something to be said for saving them when we unlock some additional things over here in survival, or maybe when we unlock whatever these two things are. But also, we got 16. We could go ahead and just start dropping them on things in here. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. 
I'm going to go ahead and take this opportunity to unlock the second tier of every single one of our beta energy moves. Because we have just enough to unlock the second tier of every single one of our beta energy moves. And we'll see where they can go from there later, I guess. But the reason I'm going to keep running is because if I keep running and I fight everything on the way, that's how you get your SP, my friends. Man, sometimes it's just a little too easy, you know what I'm saying? And this time I'm ready for these guys. They normally sneak up on me, but I got them this time. Oh, baby! We've run past this guy I don't even know how many times. We're definitely not going to be getting a jump on him now. Actually, I don't know if he's noticed that I'm here. So we might have been able to fight all of these guys and then sneak attack him. But as of right now, I think we're doing a great job. Aside for those attacks getting through. Which was... Oh, what? Wait, what happened there? Oh my gosh, was it that... That other guy did an attack on me, and oh, I'm pretty upset. Whatever happened there, I'm pretty upset by it. We got knocked out of doing something awesome. That's okay, we're finally getting this box. We've been running past it heaven knows how many times. Well, I'm just now realizing that there's actually a whole lot of these. Like, we saw a lot here the last time we were running around the wasteland, and now I'm seeing even more. There's just random boxes sitting about. That is odd. Ooh, do more flips. What am I in combat with? With, like... That guy? That guy up there? Oh yeah, the double jumps. They're, they're coming in clutch right now. Okay, does that, does that do it there? Or is that guy rolling around over there also in combat with me? Thank you, game. This is the only one of these guys I've ever seen that doesn't move around. He just stands there, which is suspicious. But there doesn't appear to be any kind of trap or anything. Maybe it was just bugged. Maybe it's just a unique variant. I, I couldn't tell you. I, I, I just don't like the looks of these ones. I don't like them at all. Yeet. That's the sound effect you make when you stab someone in the back. You just go... Yeet. You know what I don't think I've ever done? Is this. That's what it does. <laughs> there might be more to it if we check the listing in here under skills. Uh, it could be that we're missing something. Unleash two waves of fatal energy. Okay. And then I guess when we go in here, yeah, we'll unlock the second iteration. We're already up in SB. I want to get this guy without having to actually fight him, and I just narrowly missed it. Darn it, 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 darn it. Oh. We're having a slightly easier go of things than the first time I tried to fight these guys. Oh gosh, no, don't die. That's embarrassing. We're not going to die to basic enemies in the wastelands. Maybe we will. I don't know. No, 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 no. Just keep hitting him until he's dead. Sometimes that works. Sometimes you don't really need to play well. Sometimes you just need to keep swinging your sword until they're dead. Yes, we've not gone over here before. There's some kind of tower over yonder. I don't know if that has any bearing on what we're doing. Where we need to get is right over here. And something tells me that's going to be up that route right there. Do you reckon if I walk slowly? Nope, never mind. I take it back. That's not the case. That's almost like a one shot of these guys. Yeah, you know what? If you have the beta energy for it, that's probably the move. What is this? Entire facility here. Aside from potentially unrelated to what we're doing and something distracting us from staying focused on the task at hand. Oh, now, 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 hold on now. Now, wait just to now, now, hold on. <laughs> That's not the direction we need to be going in. And it also looks like a trap. So we're just gonna not do that. We're gonna go this way instead. Towards this tangle of, of roots? Can we get through here? Gosh darn it, this is where they are, isn't it? Do we have to go around here to get through here? I don't know why. Unless there's a way down from up there. But if you look at the map, Looks like there's a pretty solid gap between these two, but I see no other way in. So it's gonna be something like that. I got real confused when I see it. We've seen that before though. We've seen that before. All right then, I'll take the bait. I'll go through what is definitely a load of enemies hiding behind every corner alley. We're gonna be super sus the whole time though. Not a, We're not gonna be sus. We're gonna be sus of everyone else here. We're gonna assume there's some sussy wussy going on around here and we're gonna try to do some double jumps over everything 
and keep a close eye behind every- like, there's nothing here. Like, I expected there to be, but there just isn't. Except for a control panel, which could have a bearing on what we're doing. Maybe it opens that door? Am I in a hurry or something? Uh-oh, wait, what is happening? Am I- am I in a rush? Do I need to get here? Am I- am I- Don't know if I understand what happened there. I kind of assumed it was a timed thing. Where I had to rush down there before it automatically lifted itself. But now I'm just kind of perplexed, and also confused as to why this is where I've been taken. We do have a, a phone out there we can fast travel to. I don't have to do that walk again. Was there bosses I needed to fight? What? <laughs> Was I supposed to fight all those guys? That thing's gone back up. See, that now I'm just even more confused. We're gonna try to shoot the gap between these guys. Clearly one of them detected me, but hopefully they lose interest if I just keep going. Oh, he's running after me and he looks quite silly. We're just gonna go for it, though. Presumably things won't respawn here. Yeah. I guess this time... We'll, we'll just stand and fight? Or at least we'll have a look at what it is we're seeing. Yeah, I see that happening. I see the little chest. I'm sure it's full of useful stuff. What is spawning to fight me right now? Okay. Those guys up there. That's a turret right there. I see. I'm assuming it's like a one-shot, and that's what all this here is for. So this is how we get back. We have to, like... Okay, well, I think I get it. I think I get it. Please respond me at the telephone. Yes, thank you. Okay, I think what this is going to be is you have to run, but you have to hide behind the debris before you get shot. Obviously, that's what this is. I don't think that's some great revelation on anyone's part, in particular mine, but that means we just probably need to be cautious and not make a mad dash for it. We have to think about our moves. When we get planted in a spot where we can't get hit, there's no reason to vacate it in a hurry. The only time we need to be rushing is when we're between spots, or if we happen to be in a place that doesn't shield us the way that we're hoping. We also need to figure out timing. By timing, I mean specifically how much time do I have between each shot. Okay. They're, they're shooting at irregular intervals. So it really is like right or left, right and then left, right and then left. Which is unfortunate because that means I need to have different timing for both of them. And then there's that guy down there. He's going to be a problem. Do you think it, if we go... Yeah, okay. And then we go in here. Nope. We're being shot at directly. Oh, it is timed. These guys are still here. Well, if I go ahead and kill them now, will they not respawn? And I guess that's reset as well. So this is not a matter of being slow and steady. This is a matter of making a mad dash. Let's see if those little fellas respawn. We know the big turrets are going to come back up. This makes me think that there's got to be like a correct route. You know what I mean? Maybe we stick close to this guy... Okay, no, 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 we're not dead yet. We're not dead yet. Just keep going. Take a healer. Double jump. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Right in the back, right before we made it. And these guys also came back. Goodness me. That seems like the route right there. You break down the middle here, double jump over this, and then it's just a straight shot weaving back and forth between these objects. Obviously, we can run faster right now because we're out of combat. So if you run with Eve for a little while outside of combat, she'll eventually just kick into high gear. Not that we can choose to do that whenever we want or need to. So we're just going to have to take a heal. Flip the switch. Watch the cutscene play out because I don't know if we can skip it. There doesn't aren't any buttons. And we're just going to have to make another mad dash for it. And this time not get shot directly in the back. Go. All right. We already know. Double jump here. Well, I've, I've fudged that already. Just keep going. Just keep going. Get back up. Get back up. 
heal. That one on the right side never seems to hit its mark. The one on the, the one on the, or sorry, I guess it depends, right or left are relative terms here. Uh, Eve's right always hits, Eve's left never seems to hit. But we made it, it wasn't as difficult as I think I was making it to be. I think it was actually a lot simpler than all that. So that guy can't hit me anymore. Son of a gosh darn biscuit eater, are you kidding me? Okay, well, we made it. <laughs> we successfully made it. That means we could do it again. And this time we won't get hit even once because this time we're gonna clear that double jump properly. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna weave through here. We're gonna be behind the correct bits of trash when we need to be behind the correct bits of trash. And we're gonna make it after all. Stay tucked in right behind here. Let him hit directly broad center. That guy, that guy, after a little while, starts... Okay, get across there. Get across there. Can we open this right now? Can, can we be hit? They're gone. We did it. What did we get? Corsair Lager. Love it. Just love it. I'm gonna throw out there that we are now all out of... We all had a heels. So, what what are our options? We can run over to the camp that we know is a little ways down here, and then come back. Although we've not figured out how to get in there yet, I kind of thought that would have something to do with it. But as it happens, that is just unrelated, just completely unrelated. Are we supposed to go over the top here? Maybe we got to have the double jump so that we can come up here. And no, this is a solid wall here. Do we want to take the hint? Use collapsed overpass to enter the oil storage facility. That was one of the things I was going to try next, and I'm kind of disappointed we went ahead and spoiled it for ourselves. But we are going to go down here to this campsite, okay? Because uh, I do appreciate that they have the tips. We could have simply chosen not to engage with them. We're going to run past all these guys. We're going to go down here and have a little rest at this campsite. Get our health and our... Uh, heals restored. I think it would have been faster to just fight something out there and intentionally let ourselves get killed. But that also feels really lame and cheaty, and I'm not about that. I'd much rather make my way back to a camp and then have to phone my way back over. That's the proper way of doing things. This is better anyway, because this drops me right next to the overpass where I need to be anyway. And I'm now much better suited to deal with a jumpy puzzle. You know, because, oh geez, I'm not better at the game, and Eve is still obnoxiously floaty, but we have all these additional abilities. Oh my gosh, this is actually what it wants me to do. It actually wants me to do this. I thought I was just kind of being a little bit silly, trying to walk out on the end of that thing, but the game is like, no, no, this is a mechanic. You're going to have to balance yourself now. I, I love that, though. Love that. Love that we got some random tires up here. How'd they get here? Heaven only knows at this point, but we're in. Go ahead and open this up in case we need to beat a hasty retreat. Because we're assuming that the oil storage facility has like an unhinged Chris Hemsworth. And he's running this place. I don't see any sentinels. They're supposed to be guarding the area. Where are they? Well, I see human sure. corpses, three Let's of them. I see three human corpses and what looks like a battlefield. For fighting, if not a gauntlet of many small NAT, but probably one really big one. I can't believe I'm running these shifts just to keep tabs on a monster. Man must be losing his mind. Maybe he needs system maintenance? What? I should watch my mouth? I'd rather go to the brig than do this. What's up? What do you mean? What's... <laughs> mm. Okay, something bad happened to that fella. That's his memory stick. You goddamn idiot! It's up there! Up! Is it? Is it up there? Don't get sussy. Don't get sussy on me. All right, we're looking for an Atiba here. Oh. Is it right there? There's something inside of there. It looks actually like a, a haze or a fog of some kind. That's probably where it's going to come out at right there, isn't it? Woo's record. 
324th search. Zero exceptions, nothing unusual. Zero exceptions, nothing unusual. Zero exceptions, nothing unusual. Zero exceptions, the marked Nativa cannot be visually identified, requesting reinforcements. People. <sighs> Could this be the surveillance team that lost contact? They're completely mangled. Wait. I wouldn't say that. And where is the Nativa? Right there. I'm telling you, that's it. That wasn't it. Well, then what is that back there? Oh, that might be one of our fallen sisters. They kind of have that weird aura about them. Look. Oh, boy. Okay. Gygus. Hey, big guy. Don't like this. Don't like this at all. Don't like it at all. Don't like it one bit. Not prepared for it. Oh, thank goodness my, 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 my dodges are on point today. Please blow him up. Did not quite time that one right. He's got like a weird, like I know he's supposed to be kind of like a monkey sort of thing, the way he's walking. But doesn't he kind of look like a sickly fat baby? And he's even kind of throwing a temper tantrum right now like a sickly fat baby. Just throwing that out there. Oh! Once again, I'm struggling with my dodges, but the consequences haven't been as bad as the last fight we were in, where we were struggling with our dodges. You know the one I'm talking about. The one that lives in infamy. Oh, I can't get the- I can't get the dodges. It is pretty much as bad as last time. Oh, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Take the heal. You know what? We're gonna do this. There we go. Now get out of the way. Oh my gosh. Get up. I just gotta play better. That's my only problem here. There we go. That's the playing better we're looking for right there, baby. Do it, do it again, though. I guess we can all agree that we're not gonna be finishing him this round. Yeah, because we're just about dead. Yeah, there we go. Okay. It was gonna happen. At least they dropped me back in right here. So all I gotta do is run in, skip the intro, and then play better. Ooh! Unfortunately, he was too far away for that, and I was not aiming the right direction for that. Oh, dear. That was quick. There was a time there for like a hot minute I thought I'd gotten good at the game. For like a split second, I thought, man, I've really figured this game out. I've become actually decent. I haven't. Oh no! Oh, my beta energy wasn't charged! I thought- Oh, I thought something different was gonna happen there! Hmm. Hmm. I know the first fight with this guy wasn't perfect, but relatively speaking, we did so much better. <laughs> I couldn't even get on my feet long enough to do anything sensible. I'm- <laughs> Thanks, Adam, I appreciate it. Alright, big guy, come and get me. That actually kind of worked. Yay! Good job! Burn him! You know what the problem is? I think I came in here with more BE charged. And now I don't have any charged. So when I do moves like that, when I do execute perfect dodges, it doesn't matter because I'm not doing anything useful with that time because I don't have any BE. It's the difference between coming into a fight, like, fully charged, and coming in a little bit sleepy. And also unable to dodge. I did try to dodge. I wouldn't have known that I, I tried to. Just like right there, I tried to. And the timing is just wrong. I've got the timing wrong. It's not that I don't know what to do. It's that I lack the ability to do it. I don't know what to tell you. Instantly restores a lot of HP. Instantly restores HP. Instantly restores HP. Generates a biotic field that has recovery effects within a set range. See, that seems useful. It seems like the sort of thing you'd want to use, but we're not going to. All right, big guy. I'm ready this time. Yep, see, told you. Ready. Ooh. 
Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Come on, big boy. Okay, well, I don't know if that was an intentional move, what you just did there. Oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez. Get behind him. Cut him up in his little booty. Oh, what's he doing now? Oh, what is he doing now? Oh, I hit the dodge button. Yeah, he's doing his magma punches now. That's how you know he's angry. He's got his, he's got his uh, orange jam all over his hands. And he's flinging it about. My man's got too much of that marmalade on him. He's got too much of that marmalade. Oh! Good, good, satisfying, but also waste of beta energy. Oh, I missed it! I missed it because of the smoke! I, it was, I mean, I clearly saw it. I just didn't do it. We're okay, we're okay. Oh gosh, we're not okay! That was a good run, too. I was playing against this guy and I thought it was too easy! I had my friend blindfold me and tickle me while I fought him. I still beat him on the first try! Okay, so everything I've done since the start of this fight has been pretty decent, you gotta admit. I will not hear anything to the contrary. I've been- I've been having a pretty good run this time. And it's still going. It's- the pretty good run is still going. That was a little bit unfortunate that I missed that. But it's- it's been a pretty good run so far, you must admit. Like, so far best runs that we've had. That still cannot seem to get the timing right on how to dodge that. This could be the run, but I don't want to say that with any level of confidence and then jinx it. Like, why didn't that stop his attack? We, we, we did everything right there. Okay, get behind him. There we go, get that beta energy charged up. Get ready. That's not what I meant to do with my beta energy, by the way. Okay. No, I dodged! I hit the dodge button! I did! I understand that just hitting the dodge button doesn't mean it's going to work. There's timing involved. Like right there, that's my fault. I was hitting the dodge button a ton. None of it at the right time. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, take the potion. Get up, get up, get up, get up, take the potion! Okay. Okay, how did we cook it so hard in the second half? All right, big fella. Let's go. I'm ready this time. I said that last time. I was wrong. How come sometimes that gets me behind him, and sometimes he still gets another hit in on me? Like, right there, right? That works, but sometimes that don't work. Oh, come on now. When am I supposed to time the dodge? Okay, that was pretty decent, but, I mean, I didn't get any BE for it. tried to block. It was a yellow ability. I can't block. I don't know why I, I don't... I don't know. See? See, sometimes you zoom behind him, it like takes him off guard, and then sometimes it just doesn't. And the reasoning for it is arbitrary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've seen this before. And I actually did it! I actually did it! He's never thrown them that close before. When he gets really mad, he starts throwing his rocks a lot faster. And that's when he's really dangerous. Come on, big guy. Hold on. Oh, no! I was gonna try to get a different healing item. <sighs> Go! No! No! Ah! We had him. We had him. We were there. We had him. We had him! Are you kidding me? I- heal in the air, and just dead. See! See! Sometimes it just doesn't- it just doesn't- it just keeps going! Okay, you know what? We're basically gonna die. 
I was gonna say let's fight on till we can't fight no more, but that that we did, I guess. I, we did. We did. See, I was ready for it that time. I was ready for it. Well, I mean, we had a good run, but sometimes you just you can't stop his rampage. This is one of those rare opportunities where I think we might be able to get him. Yeah, we're all out of our normal heals, but gosh darn it, I'm gonna. Shouldn't have said anything. I was gonna say, I got a pretty good run going here. Of, like, missing his big attacks. Like, getting the dodges down right. Clearly not. It's okay. It's alright. These things happen. Come on, big guy. Come on, big guy. You seem upset. Got your marmalade out, I see. Oh, you didn't kill me just then, though. You tried. I'm telling you, man, once he goes marmalade mode, he's so much harder to deal with. Many of these encounters, we've made it to marmalade mode. Many of these encounters, we die almost as soon as entering it. Get back up, get back up, and switch to the lingering potions. Go ahead and take one. Oh, darn it! See, what, what the heck's happening there? Take that. Oh, that does not heal a lot, does it? Take it again. No! Take the last one. I don't care. Just keep going. Just keep going. What do we do? We just keep running away. Until we get our timing right to do this. No, I did it! I did it! I, I, I promise you I was trying to do it. At least you get all that back when you die. If you actually use it, it's gone. You know, you'd have to restock at a camp, but, you know, you do get it back. So we're ready for this round. Okay. I perfect dodge, and I held down the button to do the attack. Normally that knocks him out of whatever his attack is. Sometimes, though, it just doesn't. And I don't know what the logic or reason is behind that. I'm looking at him. Believe you me, I'm looking. It just occurred to me that this fellow's got quite the shield on him. Should we be doing something to, like, try to take that out a bit more quickly? Like that? Like, that's our shield buster ability. His shields are now down. So I don't know what that necessarily, like, gains us. Does he take more damage now or something? Actually, yeah, it kind of looks like he does take a bit more damage now. We've definitely got him halfway to his now, now, like, marmalade mode. Like, he's in marmalade mode now. And we just picked up some random extreme polymer. That's such a difficult one to dodge, because you... He just... He pops so far away from you. Oh, apparently we weren't ready to do a counter there. And that's... You just can't! Even if you get the perfect dodge, you can't... You can't do your little counter thing! When he's in marmalade mode, and he starts that rampage, you can't stop it, you just gotta get out of the way! Okay, we got his shields ripped away from him. Pretty quick there. Come on, big boy. Come on. Okay. Sometimes, and during that attack, that one can't be stopped either, and you just gotta be okay with it, okay? Marmalade mode is activated. Get up, get up, get up, get up, take the heal. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. But don't go too far away. That was not what I meant to do. Oh, I gotta remember not to hold down. Oh, no! No, I was definitely hitting. The Never mind. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter when things aren't working the way they should. All you can do is take the last heal, take the last heal. Go ahead and get. No. Get that, and go ahead and take it, and then go ahead and get that, and then go ahead and start dodging out of the way early. Go ahead and take that. Just keep dodging, just keep dodging. Stay away from him. Let him throw his rocks at you, but don't get hit. There's just no way to dodge that. I've tried. I've tried everything you would think would dodge that. He's not possible to kill. It's not possible to kill him. Are there recommended levels for these encounters? I wonder. Come on, Gygus. So, this first attack. Dodge that part. Block that part. Then you can get behind him and do that. That's the only combination where you'll be able to do that. Don't let him do that, though. Oh, 
Get him behind him, get in a few cheap shots to the brump. Shields get down. He starts taking a lot more damage a lot more quickly. Once you get his health just below the first double square situation in uh, Gigas, or Gigas, he enters Marmalade mode, at which point he becomes nigh on unstoppable. It's not actually possible to defeat him after this. What you're doing here, though, even though you cannot defeat him, it's not possible. It's you're just fighting him. Just for the fun of it. Turning on my TV show. That worked last time. Dodge. De oh. Monk isn't helping. Okay, marmalade mode. There's just no dodging it! That just can't not cannot be dodged. You just have to tank that hit. <sighs> I'm broken. I'm broken as a person. I can't believe that's dodgeable. I thought once he went Mermelade, it couldn't be done. Problem is, I don't really understand the timing still. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Everybody remain calm. Darn it. Not really sure what we we're supposed to do there. No! No! We we're doing so good! I don't even know what I was doing that round. Watching Monk is what I'm doing. Don't let him get too far away. That's where he starts doing things that we can't do anything about. Don't let him get far away. Don't let him get away. Don't let him get away. Just stay on him. Stay on him. Just keep hitting him. Darn it. Darn it. Darn it. It's almost enough to make you curse. Almost. But not here. Not on my Christian Minecraft channel. <laughs> Look. Don't die. Don't die right now. Don't die right now. Don't die right now. Don't die right now. Eve! Eve! Take a heal. Don't die right now.
Do you reckon that if we, like, right now did this, and then followed it up with that- Oh, do it again! Do it again! Do it again! Be done with it! <sighs> hey, are you alright? I'm fine. Is this a subspecies of what we encountered in 807? What's it doing here? Being like awful is what it's doing here. I hate to deliver bad news, but I'll have to tell him. So what is this up here? What is this right up here that's very clearly glowing? Is it an Eve? Controller's vibrating like crazy. It is. It is an Eve. Oh, honey. Or an airborne squad member. It's not an Eve. We're Eve. There's only one Eve. I don't even know what we're improving right now. Ugh, another one third of a body core. Wonderful. <sighs> okay. What an absolutely miserably stressful event. After that, though, I feel like I could take on the world. I don't think anything could possibly stand in my way or deal me any kind of real threat or harm. Like this guy right here? Watch this. Unfortunately, there is a second guy now. So it's not just this guy. But, I mean, you saw what I just did to that guy, so you can imagine what I could do to a whole group of them. Can I just use the phone? Come on, why not? Oh, gosh. Can I just, like, unload on this guy? There we go. Isn't it beautiful what we've done there? Isn't that just, like, the most beautiful, the sweetest scent of burning metal and electronics? Just blasted away American style. Okay, there will be future combat encounters with future kind of mini bosses out there that'll hopefully go better. Did you meet them? What happened? <sighs> Nothing good. Nothing good happened. I'm afraid they are all dead. All of them are dead. No way. I know it's a tragedy. If you met the thing that killed them, you'd understand. I dealt with it. Your comrades did not stand a chance against a monster like that. A chance. I see. My apologies, Angel. I've been hoping for their safe return ever since I lost contact with them. It's understandable, sir. It's I'll understandable. You're not wrong to hope. We're retrieving their memories. I'm sorry. It's been an honor to help those brave warriors. Poor guy. Or us, honestly, though. I mean, that's just, you know what I'm saying? Hey, we got a drone upgrade module. That's nice. We could go talk to Adam at the safe house. We could do that. Or what we could do is uh, we can go back to the safe house where we know for a fact there is a workbench and we can get a new outfit. Wait, no, we can't. We don't have enough materials. Okay, well, I know where we can buy them. To do, just gonna top all these back off to 100 because that's what I normally do. And every time we buy something, we get a little bit closer to getting another level with this lovely lass. By the way, we do have 10 Vitcoins, which means we can go ahead and buy the limited quantity Sundrop and max out these sort of uh, uniques here. We're not going to equip it just yet. It might go well with our next outfit, but we're not going to know. Bonus Gold Drop 70%. Bonus SP XP Acquisition 15%. Wait, what is the one we currently have on us? I don't feel like it's 15%. Wait a minute. Now, hold on a second. No, go ahead and buy that. Go ahead and buy that for sure, and check that right now. Where was that at? That's going to be... Yeah, this is bonus SP, EXP, 10%. And now we've got one that is 15%. That's better! Could we combine it? Could we maybe get rid of uh, the upon enemy's defeat? Well, no, we'll never get rid of that one. That one's very useful. We could get rid of our attack speed increase. Although, actually, if we have a better attack speed, I'd rather do that. Bonus beta energy recovery could also be useful. Ooh! Beta energy recharge proportional to damage taken. I don't know. I like my 10% attack increase, speed increase. I don't know. I feel like I like that a lot. Maybe when we unlock another slot, we'll get a little bit more experimental with what we put in it. Not right now, though. Okay, so we got a couple of different things we can do here. First off, we could increase the eagle eye type exospine or the grenadier type exospine we should probably also switch over to this when we're fighting bosses now that i think about it increasing our attack power our crit damage all of that would be nice when fighting bosses why don't we do that why don't we ever switch over to the chain type exospine what is wrong with us why are we the way that we are 
Uh, we're gonna wait till we have four so we can get the can detector. And then as for the nano suit, we're gonna go ahead and get the keyhole suit, I think. Obviously this outfit is inspired by Kingdom Hearts. If you deny that, you are a fool. But we need to have the appropriate hair. So right now I'm torn between this, right? We gotta go with the black hair or the, the darker colored hair because it matches this outfit quite nicely. So we either go with that or that. Oh, we don't have enough polymer material. Well, it's made the question of, of which to go with very easy here. Gotta be the crimson tear. Absolutely has to be crimson tear. And then with this outfit, cat eye. Gotta be cat's eye. That's it. That's the look. Now, some of you might be wondering when I intend to, to progress the plot. Am I going to do nothing but side quests until side quests are done? Well, a number of these side quests are asking us to go to a great desert we don't yet have access to. So we have whittled it down to, what, four here. I think it's time to progress the main plot.